today will be interesting. My right knee is uh, kind of feeling like shit today. Um, I woke up the day after my last leg day and, and my right knee and my right calf were both very sore and it has gotten progressively better and better um, each day. But uh, today is uh, obviously another leg day and it still um, is uh, a, a little sore particularly at the bottom uh, of a deep squat. That's really when uh, I feel it the most. So we will see how today's leg day goes. Uh, you know, there is obviously the chance that I can't do anything today, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, give it a whirl and see what happens. Um, I basically web MD'd myself, you know, you kind of, Google search the, where you have pain and everything. And what I think I'm dealing with is probably some like patellar tendonitis. And um, I think that that's just because I've really been doing a ton of um, quad volume and calf volume as well. So the, the pain is kind of like at the very top of my calf and at the very bottom of like my knee joint. So it's in this really weird spot where I don't know if it's, you know, if it's from the, the calf work or from the quad work or both. But um, that, that's kind of what we're dealing with at the moment. I told Carissa before I left that this workout may be a little bit longer than normal just because whenever, uh, you know, I'm sore and things are, things are not feeling good it may just take me a little bit longer to warm up and and get going so that that may be the case today um you know obviously uh, obviously i hope that i'll get in there and i'll get moving and things will uh start feeling good but i'm obviously prepared for that not to be the case so we'll we'll see how it goes um regardless i'm probably going to decrease the volume in today's workout um, compared to what I've typically been doing in my most recent leg days, uh, just to kind of uh, alleviate some of the uh, like workload and everything that's going on in the area, um, and then kind of decide how things go from there. But that, that's the plan of attack for today. If I'm being honest with you, the only exercises that I'm really worried about are calf raises and the leg press. Um, there, there is a chance that the leg extension and the leg curls could bother the knee, but other than that, like, I should be able to adduct and abduct perfectly fine. Uh, I should be able to stiff leg perfectly fine. So uh, I can anticipate today's workout going pretty good. We just are gonna have to see how the leg cooperates and then uh, kind of base everything off of that, you know? Uh, obviously, if I end up leaving the gym today, and you know things are not good that could really alter uh, my training going forward so this is kind of one of those really cliche things where you can't like think too far ahead you know i i can't start thinking about my next week's training already because i don't know if next week's training will look anything like these past previous weeks just because of uh, this potential injury so uh, we will see how today goes. Today's workout is really going to kind of, uh, I don't want to say be like a big one in the sense of like, you know, numbers wise or anything, but just like de depending on how today goes is really kind of the thing that's going to determine how things go in the, in the near future here. So realistically, I think I am due for some sort of a deload period or just, you know, a, a period of, of extra rest. So um, I, I do probably think that that will happen. So today will kind of be, I guess, the deciding factor as to whether or not I start that this week or whether or not I do that next week. Today would also be a decent day to maybe use my knee sleeves, which I haven't used, <clears throat> which I haven't used in a while. I don't think I've worn a pair of sleeves in maybe a year and a half or two years. And it's not because I'm anti-sleeve, I just like, never really had knee issues so I just never wore them when when I first started training all of the people that I was following were wearing knee sleeves and elbow sleeves and stuff like that and so 
I bought all that stuff because I just kind of thought that those were things that you needed to have. And realistically, I didn't really have any like elbow or knee issues. And after a while, I just kind of wanted to challenge myself to get away from not using those. Um, I haven't used like wrist wraps either, like the, the wrist support ones um, for pressing and stuff like in a while. Um, but like today is a day where my knee is kind of bothering me. So it may be a good idea for me to use uh, my sleeves today. So th those are just kinds of things that I, you know, <laughs> Again, I'm not anti-sleeves, but I think I think there are probably a good amount of people that just have those things because they're under the impression that they need to have those things. Um, and I, I don't know, I, I think that maybe we should possibly start using those things on a more as needed basis. Who knows, man, maybe I'll start wearing my knee sleeves going forward all the time now if my knees are uh, starting to get this sore. We'll, we'll see. Uh, I could just be making a stupid uh, like meathead thought process there, but. Anyways, pulling into the gym now. Uh, I honestly have no idea how this one will go. So we will uh, check in sometime soon and we'll either have good news uh, or bad news and we'll find out which one it is.
night headed back home. Uh, pretty good workout. I was not able to leg press today and I, I kind of had a feeling that that's how today would go. Um, I, I'm very confident at this point that patellar tendonitis is what uh, I'm dealing with because when I press on where my patellar tendon inserts, it's sore as fuck. So I'm, I'm very confident that that's what we're dealing with here. Um, but I am very confident that I know why I'm dealing with it. And so being able to fix it, um, I, I don't really foresee to be much of an issue. I mean, obviously I'm hoping that everything goes according to plan, but so I know that all of these aches and pains and stuff have also coincidentally started at, at the same time as, uh, I've increased volume, uh, on my quads. So uh, I just need to pull back on that. Um, the, the leg extension kind of bothered things today. <clears throat> Lately, as I've been going in and doing the leg extensions, I've been putting rolled up yoga mats in between my shins and the shin pad to kind of like extend the amount of room in between there so that I can get a good stretch on the leg extension. And I think that I've just kind of been pushing that a little too far and kind of like overstretching. Uh, the area. So today, instead of using two mats between myself and the machine, I only used one mat. So I was still getting a little extra stretch, but it wasn't as extreme. Um, and then uh, I only did one set on the leg extension today, and then obviously was unable to leg press. So um, but everything else that I did was great and progressive and pain-free. I only did two sets on the calf raise just as, uh, honestly, as like safety precaution, if anything, um, because that area was really sore as well. But once I kind of got moving and stretching that area out, everything felt pretty good there. Uh, it's just my knee is really, really sore right now. So... Um, I am definitely due for some sort of rest period. So what the plan is for now is I'll, um, I'll take right, right now the schedule was to rest tomorrow and then train on Sunday, but I'll just end up taking the weekend off altogether. And then I'll probably only train three days next week instead of four. I'll probably train like Monday, Wednesday, Friday and only one of those sessions will be a lower body workout. So I'm just like really decreasing the frequency in which I am uh, training my lower body and putting my knee through the, the range of motion that causes it pain. Depending on how painful it is when I go in the gym uh, and do that lower body workout, that will determine how much volume that I do in that workout. But uh, that will be a decision that I'll make on that day. As of now, uh, I, I am just planning on like decreasing the frequency, but still going in and, and training hard and still trying to progress my lifts. Uh, but I, I definitely know for sure that I wanna take this weekend off. I, I need a break physically, obviously, uh, from the hard week of training, and then I need a break mentally because it's been a very long week for me <clears throat> business-wise. As of now, I am planning on meeting up with my parents this weekend, so that uh, will be kind of a nice like mental refresh there. So uh, look, looking forward to taking the weekend off uh, from the gym. I'll obviously be on track with my diet 100%, but uh, as far as taking a couple of days off of the gym and, and taking a couple of days away from work uh, and stuff like that, that'll be nice just to kind of clear my head. And then uh, next week's training, uh, we'll kind of go with the flow with. My stiff legs have been on a really good run of progression lately. And today I got really ballsy and I just tried 365. Um, I am pretty sure that's the first time ever that I've pulled 365. Uh, I hit it for a single. Um, and I may have been able to really fight for the second rep, but I, I really didn't feel like it today, to be honest, like the injury risk was not, was not worth it. Um, I, I just kind of wanted to get that weight in my hands and get an idea for, uh, how it feels. I, I had pretty much made up my mind midway through the workout that I was going to be deloading this, uh, upcoming week. So at that point it was just about, uh, you know, get a good weight in my hands, uh, make it feel really, you know, comfortable, so to say, and, and, and actually get comfortable with that weight, uh, and then get through this little, uh, rest period. And then when we start the next, uh, like training block, uh, be able to attack that fully. So really happy with how it moved. Um, 
there was a part of me that didn't think that I would even get it for one, but you know, the, the first one was nice and I, I may have been able to fight a little more for the second one, but it just really wasn't worth it for me at that point. These always stops during this time are always such a, such a trip, you know, they, uh, it's about 4.30 or so in the afternoon, so it's about the time when everybody's like coming home from work, you know. And these always stops here in the suburbs, man, these always stops can just become a clusterfuck and sometimes people have a hard time reading them. And it's always interesting to have like a little Mexican standoff where everybody's just kind of standing there like waiting for somebody to make a move. This is also probably like the fourth day in a row that I've had been heading home from the gym and had to wait for a fucking train at this train station. Like, oh my God. And of course it's a freight train too. So it's just a super, super long train. Gives me a good time to pull up WhatsApp and get back to some client messages and then pop the video back on and get back to you guys. So pretty much uh, the, the goal this weekend or the plan for this weekend is to do uh, a little more research on patellar tendonitis and kind of how to fix and rehab that. Obviously part of that process is decreasing the workload that is going through the joint, uh, which I'm obviously uh, aware of and, and, and that's what we're going through the process of doing by taking the extra rest days and decreasing frequency and uh, potentially volume and all that type of stuff. But uh, there are also gonna be some rehab exercises that I can kind of do to kind of help with that. Um, I was kind of looking into it a little bit this morning and like Spanish squats and uh, some stuff like that are just examples of a few of them. So what I want to do is I want to kind of educate myself on those movements a little bit. And then as I'm going through this coming week, uh, I want to start to incorporate that stuff into my daily lifestyle so that I can kind of uh, rehab this area as quick as possible. Because, um, you know, this is this has potential to be a, a major roadblock for me. You know, my, my main objective within training and bodybuilding right now is to grow my legs and particularly my quads uh, to be bigger uh, on stage. And if I can't train my quads, then I can't grow them. And the longer that I can't train them, the longer that they go without growing. So this is something that I, I obviously am, am trying to get fixed ASAP. So I'm, I'm just gonna kind of take a look at some real basic uh, movements and stuff like that that I can maybe start incorporating into my um, like warm up routines uh, and rest day routines and stuff to be able to just kind of uh, potentially speed that process up. So that is on the to-do list for this weekend. Honestly, man, thank God it's Friday. This has been such a long week. I am so like physically and mentally tired. Just really looking forward to having a, a weekend, a couple days off, Saturday, Sunday off uh, from, from training and, and work stuff. So got some good football that will be going out or going on on Sunday. Um, meeting up with my parents at some point this weekend. So should be a good weekend, man. Looking forward to it a lot. In other news, um, my usually what my post-workout meal has been lately has been 100 grams uh, of cream of rice, and I do that as a <clears throat> as a shake. I've uploaded that on my Instagram, I have my TikTok. If you guys haven't seen that, but I've done like 100 grams of cream of rice, and at the moment, uh, I, I went to make it before I went to leave, and I only have like 40 grams of cream of rice in the box. So to make up the rest of the carbs, I found some rice cakes in the cupboard and I'm gonna be eating those. And it's kind of weird how excited I am to eat those rice cakes. It's been a while since I've had rice cakes and they're just like, I love eating rice cakes because of the, the texture. They're, they're just like a texture thing to me. I feel like I can just eat them and eat them and eat them and eat them and eat them. Uh, so oddly looking forward to that very much. Uh, ready to go in and take a shower and eat and ready to have a hopefully very relaxing and chill weekend. Um, thank you guys for tagging along with me today. Uh, you know, today is just kind of one of those days uh, that just doesn't go according to plan, but that's just the reality of this. You know, I I've been on such a really good run uh, of training lately. 
um, and you know something something's got to give uh, eventually at some point so I uh, just need to have a little period where we pull back uh, and recover uh, I feel like I've very much earned that uh, and that is obviously just going to set us up to have another productive run of training uh, in the near future here so very excited about that. Uh, just got to kind of get through the rest period, uh, which I do kind of look forward to, especially when you're as fatigued uh, as I am right now. So going to go in and eat. Thanks again for tuning in, guys, as always. Uh, and as always, you, you, I'm talking to you. Take care of yourself. Oh.